Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, that video that I made yesterday about seven ways to ignite char cloth, I deleted that. I couldn't stand all the wind noise. And I do have a furry thing on my shotgun mic, but I, I guess it can only compensate for so much wind. Um, and it was a little bit long. It was 11 and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and do it again. Same as yesterday with a water bottle. A can, polished tablespoon, wallet for nail lens, and this can be considered ferro rod, this empty bick, and a piece of shirt. I will flint and steel two different ways with this steel made from a Nicholson file and our Corona saw for a steel. So let's go ahead and get started. If I have to stare at the focal point for more than 15 seconds, I like to wear my shades. Protect those eyes. All right, let's start with the bottle first. The photons are gonna come down through this round, through about six inches of water and come out this round. And we'll use my shadow to detect where the sun is the brightest because right now it's shining through the limbs of the trees. And it's pretty bright right here. And I like to tilt the bottle towards the sun, find it on my finger first, and then ignite the char cloth. And in this bright sun, you could tell when you have an ignition the best way to tell is that the sunlight is reflecting off that ash and it gets very, very bright in there. I'll tear that in half since I'm running low on char cloth. Once again, like I tried to do yesterday, let's go ahead and just stage all of these ignited pieces of char cloth in one tinder bundle and try to do it all with one, tinder, one flaming tinder bundle at the end of the video. use the can and we got some bright sun about well right here is good you want to find it on your finger first Get over here where it's the brightest. That's better. Let's try that. You don't want to interfere with the photons, so turn that char cloth in there kind of sideways. See, I don't have a very bright spot right here. But it's turning very, very bright, and we have ignition. Let's try the tablespoon now. You can imagine the bowl of this tablespoon is collecting photons and projecting them back out about a half inch or so. So of course you wouldn't want your fingers or you wouldn't want the broad side of this char cloth to be interfering with the collection of photons. This looks like a bright spot here. Let's try that. See me way over there? Let's go ahead and try it now. That's 
coffee is plenty hot enough to ignite it. Finally, that focal point just got really, really bright. Okay, well, here's an easy one because it's so powerful, the wallet for nail lens. Now, you want to put the ridges towards the sun? This will not take long. I got such a small piece of char cloth, I won't be able to give you a close up of it. And it's lit. I'll take the chance of burning my fingers. Vic. All right, we're going to roll this one up, stick it down in close to that striker wheel. Hold it in there with my index finger. Better be saving those empty bicks, especially if you're in a survival situation. All right. Got some more char cloth. And the bias is running this way, so we'll tear it across the bias, which will expose all of these threads. going to line up each half on top of one another lay these pieces about a 16 to an eighth inch behind the sharp edge on the chert and then go for it steel made out of the Nicholson file. Now, let's go for the flames. Do me a favor now before you leave my channel, please subscribe. Right next to where you hit the subscribe is a notifications bell. When you hit that notifications bell, there'll be a drop down list. Please select all and do give this video a like. That's trying to go to flames on its own, isn't it? I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. See if we can help it along.